Today I'm gonna to be doing a project. This is going to be a floating rope shelf for my succulents that will go in my front picture window. Here we go, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, two foot by eight inch MDF boards. I purchased this as a two foot by four foot blank. My husband ripped it down to eight inch, eight inch shelves on a table saw. Um, I took some really fine sandpaper and tried to kind of get a little bit of the rough edges off. He also drilled four holes in each board. One, two, three, four, four holes in each board. They are an inch and a half. Um, from the edge and that's on center to the center of the hole. Two of the other elements in my floating shelf that will go on my front picture window are going to be this rope. Um, this is I believe in an, an inch and a half rope. I'm not sure. I can't remember. It was the only rope they had at Home Depot that was this thicker rope. It's going to fit through these holes here. Uh, this is 20 feet. I believe I'm probably going to need more rope than this. So I might end up taking a trip back to Home Depot to get more rope. Uh, the other element is going to be the anchor system. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to anchor from the ceiling or the wall. Um, I have these two different options. So when we go to install this shelf, we will see what's going to work best and we'll pick the best option. I've got my paint supplies ready. I am using this Valspar Signature High Hiding Paint and Primer. This is a uh, eggshell, and it is the color du jour. We use this uh, exact paint for our new window and door trim and baseboards. So these shelves are getting this paint because it's left over. Also, I would normally brush these shelves with a paintbrush, but I'm gonna use this roller because frankly, I don't feel like messing with a brush. So let's lay it on and see how it looks. I've put my first coat of paint on my shelves. I have one, two, three, four, five, six of them. I've just got one coat on so far. I believe I'm gonna do two coats of paint. So it's gonna take me a little while to put a coat on, let it dry, da da da, get the edges, all that stuff. Um, I'm going to give you guys a look at the first coat. Here we go. It laid on pretty nice. There's a few imperfections here and there. I had never painted MDF compressed board before. So this is my first experience doing this. As far as I know, the paint that I have in it have does have primer in it. So yeah, it has primer in it. This should take about two coats to get like the coverage that I really want. I have not done the edges yet. I'm going to kind of save that till uh, the probably the last coat on the other side. So this is what it looks like now. And I think it's gonna turn out really good. I'm not going to be concerned with painting inside the holes. I'm actually, there's gonna be a rope in there that fills up that entire hole pretty tight. So I'm not gonna worry about painting inside the holes. All right, this is what we're looking at so far. Project coming along finally. It's now been multiple days, multiple coats of paint, a couple of rope snafus, uh, picking up different size ropes and miscommunications, I guess, with uh, salespeople at Home Depot. Um, so I've made some returns, I've gotten the right rope, and now I've installed the hardware, well, Josh helped me install the hardware, for the rope to hang the shelf, and now I'm gonna kinda go on with the show. So here we have the hardware that uh, we are going to hang the shelf from, I'm gonna hang the shelf from. Um, I picked up these really cool hangers. These are rated for 170 pounds a piece. There's one and two. Please don't judge the other holes in my wall. At some point in time, there was something else up here. Um, also, please don't judge my dirty windows. They have not been cleaned yet from the spring. So um, this is the window that we'll be installing the shelf on. This is gonna be for my succulents. 
there were plants hanging there before. There'll probably be some more plants that are gonna hang on the curtain rod until I change that out. This entire room is gonna get repainted and redecorated at some point in time. But for now, I've got the hardware that is up there. The rope is actually gonna hang from that hardware and then there will be shelves floating on it. Um, I will show you guys what I'm doing as we go along. For now, the hardware is up. Let's uh, get into hanging the rope. So here is the first shelf. The knots are a little messy because I had to undo them and redo them a couple of times to get that shelf to the height that I wanted it. I didn't want a ton of space um, at the top. I'm gonna put some shorter succulents up there that aren't gonna grow into um, the ceiling eventually or that area up there where the curtain rod is. And the rest of the shelves I'm going to try to unevenly space them. They don't have to be perfectly spaced. I'm not worried about that. I'm also not worried about these messy couple of knots. It's totally okay. I'm not really all that worried about it. It can be a little messy. And this is the cheat for the boards. So I've got a metal folding chair here. I just put one of the boards on there and I threaded through the holes, threaded the rope through the holes. And let's see if we can Let's see if we can get the second one up solo. So, let's see. <laughs> this is an adventure. That le that's not level at all, is it? You know what, it's not too bad. I feel like once I get plants and stuff on here and it's kind of weighted and sitting, it'll tighten the knots up over time and it'll kind of get a little bit more. I'll have to do an update on this shelf through like a couple of weeks and see how it changes because the ropes are gonna eventually kind of like relax a little bit. I know when we use the ropes at the gym, over time they relax and stuff sheds off of them and they get a little um, a little more lax. So I'm hoping that they don't loosen up too terribly much. The only thing I'm kind of concerned of with these little messy loops are, I don't know, maybe I'm not even that concerned with it. All right, let's get the rest of them up and then we'll put some plants on them. I really do like this kind of cheat for getting the ropes in the holes. This worked 
pretty well instead of trying to manipulate this board and hold it up by myself. I, yesterday when I kind of put the first rope in and trialed it, I just kind of held it up and it was a big old pain in the butt. So this works quite well. I like this. This is the easiest part of this whole job. <laughs> the easiest part of this entire project. So easy peasy, just getting to pull the ropes through. I also left the front rope a little longer than the back rope because I was trying to account for this kind of angle on the front rope. I don't know that it was necessary. I probably left more, more rope on the front than was necessary. actually put this chair on the equipment list <laughs> you probably could use a step stool or a you know a small ladder or something like that too um, also if you had a different type of anchor like just a hook or um, like eye bolts that you could actually build this on the ground and it would be a lot less troublesome than trying to tie knots by yourself um, while it's hanging, um, but I thought those were really cool anchors, so so I decided to get those, and it did probably make it a little bit more difficult, but at the same time, you know, they looked cool, so I'm going to cut these off at the end, and I'm actually going to fray them so that they just kind of look like, you know, just kind of rustic. Um, I thought about doing like multiple knots and then cutting them off real short. Uh, I'm not sure... If I want to do that or not, I probably will cut them right about here. And um, so this is the shelf. And I really like it so far. From here, it looks great. <laughs> um, let's stand on up and see how it looks. All right, so a couple of the, the shelves are a bit wonky. But I think that is just a product of the knots themselves. I might do a little bit of adjusting. And I'm going to load it up with stuff and maybe just kind of move it around here and there. Oh, that's better. Our shelf is all done and the ends have been cut and it has its first inhabitants here. I really like the way it turned out. Uh, it was a fun project to do, something that I've never done before, and I'm going to fill this up with a bunch of new plants and old plants. Uh, if you like what you saw here and you would like to see more plant stuff and more running stuff and more fun projects and things that I kind of like to do and, you know, mess around with, uh, please like and subscribe. Please comment and hit the notification bell and we'll see you around. Thanks for joining me.